Hi, my name's Lennox. I'm going to play two chess games. And I'm going to tell you two moves that I'm considering. Okay, I'm playing at 11.08. Okay, here's a sign. Thibbleton is such a good move. Well, he, that wasn't such a good idea for him. Let's play a nobody. Uh, there's nobody here to play. There's uh, some person looking for a game. Let's just play a regular 15 minute game. Let's see who I get in this 15 minute game. I'm against what the? I'm against my little brother. Wow. I'm considering, okay. I'm considering E3 or C3. Let's go E3 because it defends my pawn and he, if he plays bishop to B4, I can win. Okay, I can attack his bishop. I'm considering knight to, knight to C3 and C3. Uh, C3, because it attacks the bishop and gains a tempo. But I'm going, okay. Should I capture or should I move back? I think move back. I'm very surprised by this game. Should I play bishop to D3 or knight to D2? Knight to D2. Okay, should I capture or should I develop my knight to f3? Knight to f3, I think, because it defends my d2 knight and it also develops a new piece. What should I capture back with? The knight or the queen? I think the queen because it uh, develops the queen and gets me ready to castle. Not the knight because that retreats an active piece and blocks the queen. So I think capture back with the queen is better. But this person, but this person that I'm playing against is my little brother. Should I play bishop to d3? Should I play bishop to d3 or should I play queen to d3? Bishop to d3 because it starts to target on h7. Let's go bishop to c2 so that I can play queen to d3. Or should I play queen to c2 and attack his pawn? I think bishop back be there because it because I can if I get there with my queen it will be checkmate. Should I castle queen side or should I play queen to d3? If I castle queen side, it'll waste me a tempo that I could have used attacking. So that's why I'm gonna play queen to d3. Should I play? Castles, or should I play queen takes h7? Queen takes h7. Okay. Let's play another, one more game. Hmm. Ooh, can I play in this tournament? No. Okay. Let's play you. What? Not allowed to play each other. I don't I want to play him. The server put me against him. Okay, I'm against my little brother again for some reason. So I'm playing black. Okay, let's just run with e5 so that the black is pawn. Okay, should I play knight to f6? Or should I play bishop to c5?
knight to f6 because it prepares a little trick. Should I play bishop to c5 or should I play d6? Well, bishop to d5 develops, develops a piece and gets ready to castle. d6 develops a piece, is gets ready to develop a piece, defends the e5 pawn, but but uh, blocks the bishop in. It doesn't help development. That's why I think bishop to c5 is better. I'm gonna, should I play d6 or should I play knight to c6? D6, I mean, knight to c6 develops a piece, but d6 gets ready to play to develop my queen side. I think I'm gonna play d6 and also guards my e5 pawn. Should I play bishop to e6 or should I play knight to c6? I think, or should I play bishop captures knight? I think I should play bishop here because knight there is good, but bishop there makes me available to castle queenside or kingside. Uh, should I capture with the bishop or the pawn? If I capture with the pawn, my pawns will be doubled. If I capture with the bishop, my pawn, I get my piece more active into the center. So the bishop seems like a better idea. Should I capture the bishop or should I let him capture me? If, if I capture his bishop, I, I, le I make his knight better. If I castle he and he captures me, I will capture back and I will have a half open file. He played knight there, trying to destroy my bishop. Should I capture his bishop, or should I, or should I play queen to e7? I think queen to e7, he guards my bishop develop, and develops my queen. He played f4, getting ready to attack my bishop. I... Should I play h6 or bishop captures bishop? h6 because it kicks the knight. And if he plays f5, I will capture his knight. He will capture me back and I'll capture a pawn and I'll be winning a pawn with not so good pawn structure. So like I said, should I trade or should I? Oh, I think I should trade because if I trade, he will just have to capture back. It's a tactic. You save your knight. Okay. If you save your knight, you you I retreat my bishop. You capture my bishop like he just did. I capture your knight. Okay, he captures my pawn and pins me. Should I play Should I play knight to c knight to c6 or knight to d7? I think knight to d7 got to guard my f6 knight. And also develops my piece. Play queen there. I'll cap. Should I move my queen, or should I capture his queen? Move my queen because there's no dangers. Now I'm threatening to capture his queen because my knight is not pinned anymore. You play queen back. Okay. Should I play knight to h7 or should I play queen 
I mean, or should I play knight to c5? I think uh, knight to h7 is the thing, is the best move because it attacks the bishop and makes it run away. How does my little brother? Um, I was against my little brother twice. So, what will he play? Okay, queen there defending his bishop. Should I capture his bishop first and then play bishop takes b two, or should I, or should I play bishop takes b two, and then capture the bishop? I think capture the bishop is first. Yeah, I think capture the bishop is better. Should I play knight to f6 or f6? I think knight to f6 because it guards the queen's escape square. Okay, so let's play knight to f6. I'm threatening his e4 pawn. Okay, he doesn't decide to save it. Should I play knight captures in e4, or should I play b5? I think knight captures on e4 first. Okay, what will he decide to move? Where will my little brother? Okay, he attacks my knight. Now I will go back to, should I go back to f6 or should I go to c5? f6 because I can, I have to defend my king a little bit. My little brother is playing pretty good in this game. Okay. Should I play b5 or a5? b5 because it, it was it is with tempo. Oh. Hmm. What should I do? I think it's time to give back a little bit of material. With this move. So now I'm threatening to trade queens. Now I'm threatening to attack his queen. I'm threatening his queen. Where will he decide to move? Okay, I'm asking, do you want to trade queens? Where will he decide to go? Queen back, you don't want to trade queens. Okay, should I capture the knight or should I move my king? Capture the knight. Okay, should I play rook to b8? I mean, rook to b8? Or should I play queen to b5? I think rook to b8 first. Okay, now let's play. Queen to B5. Should I play Queen to B5 or Bishop captures on B2? 
I think queen to b5 because it threatens the trade queens. And also threatens queen takes b2. Or bishop takes b2. Okay. It's block with my queen. Because block with the queen is way better than moving the king backward. Do you want to trade queens? No. Okay, let's threaten it again. Okay, what should I do now? Should I play rook to c8 to defend the c7 square, or should I play king to f7? Rook there seems like a better, the best move. And now let's play king to f7 or king to f8. Queen to f7, since I don't get into any checks. My little brother is playing pretty good. Okay, should I play queen takes b2 or bishop captures b2? I think queen k takes. Okay, doesn't waste any time. Should I play queen to b1 or king or queen to a1? Queen to b1 because it forces his king up. Should I play c3 or queen captures rook? I think c3 because it's it's a check. Should I play queen to b5 or queen captures h1? I think queen to b5 because it gives check and stops him from doing his plan. Hmm, should I play d5 or queen to e2? I think d5 because of your king back, I don't have a check. So I think queen here is better. Okay, now should rook check, rook to c5 check or rook to b5 check? Rook to c5 check because it makes him capture my B, my d6 pawn and let's my queen to a6 after not unlike rook to b5 check it doesn't let my rook queen to a6 check okay he has to go to either d or c okay should i play queen to c6 check or rook to b7. I think queen to c6 checkmate. Okay. I hope you enjoyed Chess with Lennox. See you next time. More, more is coming. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.